Hi everyone. So it's not uncommon when a dog moves into a new home that they get a bit of an upset tummy. And this is something we've had to work on with Floppy here. So I thought I would share our journey looking at his tummy troubles and talk to you about what we've done about it. So when Floppy was at kennels, he was eating a standard greyhound kibble, about 20% protein, which is fine. But the first ingredient listed on the bag was wheat. And this meant that he was producing rather a lot of poop and it mostly varied from okay to distinctly loose, especially by the end of the day. And he was also really windy and very noisy with it. So when we were sitting in the house in the evening, we were listening out for his musical bottom to toot so we could dive for cover. And oh gosh, as that fetid miasma spread through the room, you really wanted to gag. If you came down in the night, you could almost cut the air with a knife. It was so grim. So it did make me wonder if that was why Cantaf was grumpy because he shares the room with Floppy and he was the one getting the full force of those stinky emissions during the night when the, the doors and windows were all shut. Now it's recognized that stress is linked to digestive upset. So it's hard to know at first if the problem is the food or the problem is the stress or the problem is they need to have some improvements to their digestion. So to start with, I kept him on the same kibble, but we added some stool firming ingredients and we added some probiotics to see if that would ease the problem. So there was some improvement, but not a huge amount of improvement. And given that he was starting to settle in, we were working to reduce his anxiety, I figured that the problem must be more than just stress. So at this stage, after a few weeks, we moved on to a wheat-free kibble and maintained that daily dose of probiotics. And this seemed to help with the stool. They were a little bit better, but we were still being serenaded by this bottom and the gas was just pure evil. You had to laugh at the noises that he made as it bubbled out, but oh boy, the air was just unbearable. So in the past, I found that using probiotics generally does the trick, but this was not happening with floppy. So in desperation, I decided we would try some charcoal as a supplement. This can be really helpful in treating an upset stomach in dogs. And we started off with a granulated charcoal that we added to Floppy's meals. It did look a bit odd, uh, but it didn't seem to put him off. He ate just as well as he did before, licked the bowl clean. So I don't think it was distasteful to him in any way. It just looked a bit peculiar. And we are finding that it did make an improvement almost immediately to the smell. So you're still getting some of the noise, but it didn't smell bad. And this is because the charcoal absorbs the toxins onto the surface. It's adsorption rather than absorption. And an activated charcoal has a much bigger surface area because of the way it's been treated. So we're now moving on to an activated charcoal tablet and we're going to see how we get on with that. So this is supposed to reduce the smell of the gases that come from poor digestion. And the probiotics won't work immediately. We're gonna stick with those because ultimately we need to rebuild his gut microbiome so that he doesn't need the charcoal. But for now, it does make life much more bearable for us. We've also added some bone meal to his food and this boosts the nutritional value of the meals and it also firms things up a bit. I don't know if you know, but if you feed a dog too many bones, they get very firm, a bit constipated. Um, we don't want to go that far, but we would like to firm it up a bit. And it certainly seems very popular. They're all extremely keen on my tub of bone meal when it comes out, sniffing around, trying to help themselves. Now, bone meal contains phosphorus, which can help the dog absorb other nutrients. And it also helps digestion by reducing flatulence and reducing diarrhea. It also has calcium in it, which is good for strong bones and teeth, as well as fat and protein. So it can be a great dietary supplement if it's appropriate for your dog. Fixing upset tummies is never easy, 
and it can be a bit of trial and error. So I would always suggest you do things in stages, make small changes for a period of time, see what happens before you move on. Because if you change lots of things all at once, you're never gonna quite know what the answer was and it doesn't happen quickly. So this is still a work in progress, but we'll let you know how we get on. That's all for today. I'll be back again soon. Bye for now. Look out for new videos every Monday and why not subscribe so you don't miss out.